today, there are really a couple of ways to get video on the iPhone. You can either have it be something that could play back from a web page, and in which case a, a video file would just be opened up in the local QuickTime player that comes with uh, the iPhone. Or you can create your own app that is available through the App Store, which integrates video into that application. And um, we're really supporting both of those models, but the challenge with just the web playback model where the video just goes into the QuickTime player is um, a publisher of content loses all of the capabilities that uh, end users have become accustomed to in a web uh, player environment. So the ability to have a branded experience, it's just the QuickTime player versus your own branded player. The ability to integrate ads into that content is not possible when you just use the QuickTime player. Uh, the ability to track the usage of the video uh, and to surface things like sharing tools and related content. and So some of the rich features that people have you know, benefited from in web-based video playback, we're trying to bring those same capabilities to iPhone applications. And so what we've uh, provided with, within Brightcove 4 is this iPhone SDK for, with a Brightcove video player component, which brings a lot of those same capabilities that you're used to in a rich web player to iPhone applications. And so if you're creating a branded app and you want to have a rich branded video experience with ads and to track users and to have social sharing, and to make it easy to browse and discover content, this uh, really makes that possible for anyone creating iPhone applications. You know, the iPhone has really emerged as, in my mind, the first true personal computer, and it's uh, because of that that it's really exploded, and we now are at a point where there are, I guess, almost 50 million iPhone devices out there, and that's a, that's a very large user base, and it's all broadband connected, wireless broadband connected, and so I think a lot of the consumer behavior shifts that we saw with broadband on personal computers we're now seeing in the iPhone world, and that's creating more and more demand from those users for accessing the same kind of media that they access on the web, and we want to make that a great experience. And so it's really just about reaching consumers in the form factor and place where they want to consume that media, and to make that uh, compatible with how people already publish and operate for the web. Sure, so we're really excited to be uh, introducing Brightcove Express, which is really the entry level of the Brightcove uh, service and, and overall family of offerings. And Really, the uh, introduction to Brightcove Express is uh, reflecting two really big market uh, uh, changes that we've seen happening over the last year or so. I think the first and most important is that really online video publishing has gone mainstream. And what that means is that organizations and corporations and uh, colleges and universities and really any organization that uses the web and uses the web for marketing or communicating or educating wants to use video. And so uh, online video publishing is becoming a broad market. And, and so we look at that as a really exciting transformation. It's kind of a, a much, big, much bigger market and a much uh, broader market for a technology like ours. And so we've seen that happening. And, and the other trend is really we've seen um, an enormous amount of demand for the Brightcove uh, service over the last year or two. Uh, literally tens of thousands of organizations that come to us saying, hey, we want to use this service um, but it's too expensive. And so we really saw an opportunity to create a, a simplified version of Brightcove that was still very, very powerful and included a lot of capacity and usage, um, but priced at, you know, starting at $99 per month on a month-to-month -month basis, and you can buy it online with a credit card. And so we really want to open it up, make it much easier for ultimately hundreds of thousands of websites around the world to really use professional video in, uh, in an integrated way in their websites. Great. So tell us about sort of the overview of uh, Brightco 4 and why it's such a big deal for you guys. Um, we've covered some of those topics in our discussion, but give us sort of an overview. Sure. So, well, Brightcove 4 is uh, it's, it's probably the biggest release that we've done um, in our history, and it reflects uh, you know, another full year of, of uh, development of our service. Um, Brightcove 3, which we launched about a year ago, um, was a really evolved architecture for Brightcove, and, and Brightcove 4 uh, builds on top of that. But there's sort of several big themes uh, that we're trying to address. So one is really around delivering, um, you know, high quality experiences everywhere. And so within that, uh, we're doing things like introducing uh, cloud-based encoding services uh, and custom cloud-based encoding services where you can drop HD files on us and you can configure, you know, initially up to six different versions that our uh, encoding engine will generate and you have fine green control over all those settings. And that's just a included part of our service. We're not charging extra for that. And that's all about 
giving people control over quality, uh, creating different versions for everything from smartphones to the web to connected TVs. That's one piece of that. Another is what we call the universal delivery service, and that's a, a technology which is unique to Brightcove, which is kind of published once, distribute anywhere, and so when you put content into Brightcove 4, you can stream it using best-in-class flash streaming, uh, including the latest and greatest technology from Adobe and our CDN partners to deliver adaptable, you know, uh, uh, multi-bit rate streams that are secure. But at the same time, choose to make content you put in the system available over HTTP that can be downloaded and delivered for podcasts, for mobile web browsing, for iPhone applications, for feeds of content to uh, other partners you might have, or even connecting that content up to connected TVs. So an integrated delivery system that works across both best in class on the web and then these emerging distribution uh, opportunities. Um, we're we're you know, also expanding how you can deliver content, um, not just to uh, consumers on the internet, but actually behind the firewall. So we have a new capability called behind the firewall delivery and it allows you to snap Brightcove into delivery that you may already have in your organization off web servers or local CDNs or streaming servers in your organization. And even if you're not doing that, we have new security features we've introduced that allow an organization to encrypt and secure all that content and lock those players and videos to only users that are behind a firewall. So we're seeing internal or business to employee communications applications and, and that's part of the everywhere story. It's, it's inside your organization and out. That's one really big theme. Another theme, which is a broader theme, is uh, generating real business value around video. Really, the last few years, a lot of people you know, rushed to get video online, and they got it up on their sites, and now they're starting to ask the really hard questions. How do we make money from this? How does this generate you know, returns? Do we really understand the impact of video on our site and our business? And how do we take advantage of emerging distribution opportunities? So we've packed in a lot of things in there, a completely new analytics suite, which gives you a, a much broader range of uh, video analytics than, than we've had to date. Uh, it's new social sharing features with deeper integrations into Facebook and Twitter for uh, getting your content to spread uh, more readily through these real-time news environments. It's, uh, as we talked about, live video publishing and not just having existing assets, but creating new assets out of live content uh, is a part of that uh, as well. And so those are some of the themes uh, that we're pursuing there. Um, we're advancing monetization. We've partnered with Yahoo and have a really deep integration into their new ad serving platform and ad sales network. Um, we have, you know, some really exciting things along those lines. And, and um, you know, I think the last uh, uh, piece that I also, uh, you know, want to touch on is a little bit of what we've talked about as well, which is making video pervasive for everyone. And that's what we're doing with Brightcove Express and really making this technology affordable and accessible to any publisher uh, of video on the web. So Jeremy, there's been a big shakeout in your industry. Uh, to your advantage, I would think. What's happening? Um, what, what is the changing landscape and where do you see Brightcove uh, in 2010? Well, I think um, uh, it is a, a constantly evolving landscape, and um, I think uh, the market has really matured a great deal. I think a few years ago, or even a year ago, the whole category of online video platforms, or OVPs, didn't really exist. We were trying to define it, trying to help people understand that, hey, if you want to publish video on the web professionally, you need a software service to do that. And so now that category exists. It's understood, the capabilities are defined, what vendors need to do uh, is defined, and so it's gonna really help accelerate uh, further adoption of online video, because now when IT buyers or people running websites decide, hey, we wanna get into video, they know, oh, I can license and use an online video platform. So I think that's gonna just drive acceleration overall in the adoption of technology like ours. Um, you know, as a company, you know, we've been fortunate to have grown a lot this year. Uh, we've got an incredibly strong financial position. So we're investing a ton in product expansion, market expansion, uh, and so forth. And so with the introduction of Brightcove 4, I think it definitely uh, solidifies the leadership position that we already have. It broadens the footprint of uh, the capabilities, and it really will help broaden the overall market for online video publishing a great deal because of uh, offers like Brightcove Express.